Hey all, Patrick Murphy from IC Reptiles here again, and um, today I'm going to go over kind of the enclosures that we use, um, and I'm going to start with our rack. When we got our adults, um, <clears throat> we I bought five adult corn snakes, and I bought this um, Sea Serpents V70 rack system um, when I got them. So I had purchased uh, five adults, one passed away. Um, they're not in here currently because they're in brumation, but I bought this rack system to be able to house them. Uh, and then I had some juveniles in there as well until I built this rack. Uh, I love this rack. Uh, I got it without the open sides. The only reason I did that, um, was because that's all they had at Tinley last fall. Um, it was the last one that they had on the last day. So I grabbed it up, uh, with a thermostat and I've been using it. I love it. No problems with it. Uh, I love the PVC type material. Uh, it works well if you have lots of humidity in here for a specific uh, animal that you have in there. Yeah, the humidity will stick to the top and it will kind of like rain down if you have too much humidity in there. But it's much easier to clean. Won't warp like wood. Um, you know, they slide in and out fairly easy. Uh, you don't need a top on them for adults because adult is not going to squeeze through the less than 1 16th inch gap. You do need to put air holes in there for airflow, depending on what you have. Um, just to make it dark, because uh, I was going to brumate them in this, and I decided not to because I have a, a heater in here for ambient temperature. So I didn't want to keep them that warm in here. This room stays about 72, 73 degrees. Um, so I, I don't need the sides on there, but it gives them a darker space. Um, they, they have light in the front. Uh, it uses the bottom heat tape on the bottom of the rack pull one of these out here and show you so there's heat tape back there on the bottom of the shelf the shelf is routed and grooved right here in the back for that uh, and then i have that connected up to a, the thermostat now next we have this uh rack i built wow there's a lot of empty tubs yeah um we are gonna try and breed the adults that I have this year. We're hoping to get something out of it um, just for more snakes. We're not a breeder, we're not selling. Um, but uh, I wanted to be able to be prepared in case we <coughs> get enough animals in. And this is made out of plywood. Uh, it's scrap wood. It's stuff I had laying around in my garage. Anybody that watches our other channel, uh, Quarter Inch Off, knows we do a lot of home remodeling. Um, so we've always got wood laying around. So I just painted it black, screwed it together, and then I put some back panels on. And as you can see, uh, this is about 48 inches wide. Um, so those shelves are four foot across. And then I use 21 inch heat tape for the back heat uh, versus belly heat that the Sea Serpents rack has. Fairly easy to put together. Uh, I will say I'm not a fan of back heat. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, what I find with these tubs, when you have these tubs in here, as you can see, they're kind of tapered. So if you've got your heat tape on the back here, you are already got a gap of an inch, inch and a half, uh, where the animal's not um, close to the heat. So what I'll find is, you know, you see Pandora here in the front. This is the cool side for her. Um, she's, she's not plastered against the front. But I'll find after feeding, when they're trying to get that warmth, they'll actually be plastered against the back trying to get that heat and I think it's because it's not close enough. Now I've got it hot enough <clears throat> or turned up enough with the thermostat. See the thermostat's at 95. When I use a heat gun on the back um, or in the enclosures, uh, it registers probably about uh, 84 to 85 degrees in the tubs, which is what you want. And then about 75 in front, which is what I found comfortable. And then again, the ambient temperature with the heater in the room. So I'm just not a fan of that versus uh, belly heat. You know, there'd be a strip this far, uh, depending on if you're using three or four inch tape um, that heat the bottom. And I, I like that much better. So I may change this rack around. I may eventually take it down and, and build something else out of it. But um, ultimately for my juveniles, I would love to have a 28 or 30 quart uh, rack in between these two. I have a lot of room in here, but I'll make it work. Um, it depends on how many snakes we end up with. Now, aside from racks, you have your 
you know, just fish aquariums where you can get a screen, uh, put that on. I've got here an Exoterra. I love the Exoterras uh, just because of the front doors. It's easy to get in, easy to get out. Um, if you have substrate in here, it, it'll be fine. If you wanna put lights on top, that's great. Then you don't have to deal with um, like an aquarium. If you have lights on top, you have to remove the lights, change everything over, wait for the lights to cool down. You can't set them on your carpet. You, you go through a lot of extra pain in an aquarium. Um, as you can see from the container store bag, that's where I get these uh, these tubs that I use, which we'll go over later. So uh, these are great. You put a heat mat on the bottom, you put some substrate in, you put a probe on there, you still hook it through a thermostat, and uh, they work well. Um, but they're big, they're heavy, they're expensive. Um, ultimately, I would love several of these in every room of my house. Um, unfortunately, the girlfriend disagrees on how and where I can keep the reptiles. So that's why we're in the basement in my woodworking shop. So I've got a woodworking shop down here um, that has been converted over for the reptiles, uh, for a reptile room, which is great because I can come down here and chill. I'd love a lazy boy recliner down here. It'd be really good um, just to sit here and chill with them, handle them. Uh, I take them out almost every day, each of them. Um, some are more docile than others. Uh, the gray bandits, uh, now, maybe because they're babies, I'm hoping they chill out when they get older, they can be a little nippy. That in another video. Uh, and then moving on, I've got these tubs over here. And what I use that for is that's a quarantine tank. I've got uh, heat tape on the bottom. I've got a separate thermostat for that. So when we get a new snake and we need to quarantine it, I can put them in that and move them to another room um, and not worry about infecting uh, the, the rest of the snakes that I have here. So that's kind of our enclosures that we have. Um, right now, um, I'm in a little room in the basement. Those containers right there I used for my brumation for the adults as well. So they're all out um, hiding where it's nice, dark, and cool for now. In a, in a few weeks, I will be taking them out of brumation just before Tinley Park. I'll be turning the rack back on to get some heat going to there. I do anticipate getting some more animals from... Uh, the Tinley show uh, so I want to get everything set up ready to go start moving my stock around uh, my two juveniles Flash and Merida will come out of this rack and they'll go into uh, the V70 tubs and then uh, for my my baby snakes in here I'm actually gonna upgrade them from the six quart down to the or up to the uh, those are about 15 quart um, they're bigger they're longer so for the for the babies, pretty much Sterilite six quart. I know uh, some people have issue with the six quart Sterilites because of this little ridge right here that runs along. Um, there's another brand where this is completely flat. Um, it's got little feet on it, um, not not the big feet right here, which are the grooves of this. I personally like this because when they go to the bathroom, if I don't get to it that day because uh, I'm out working or something, uh, it, the urine and everything rolls to the side, right? So it doesn't leave them in a puddle, in a mess. It rolls to the side. The paper or towel does absorb a lot of it, um, but um, this groove uh, helps with that. Now, uh, some people don't like that because then you got to get in here and clean. You know, I, I'm not doing this in a bathroom sink or a kitchen sink or anything like that. I'm in the basement with a... Um, big double laundry tub so for me it's not that hard to go in uh, take a sponge and clean that out and what I do for these is we can see here this is one that I have set up is you take these you drill holes in them now I do have a tip for this depending on and these are pretty smooth here um, some people take a uh, soldering iron and burn these. I found that way too messy. It leaves these strings and it actually leaves it really sharp on the outside when you pull it out. Um, when you drill, if you drill in, it'll leave a little sharp edge that you can melt with a lighter. I found it better if you've got a dull bit or anything, drill out. And then it's usually perfectly smooth on the inside and a little sharp on the outside. I don't care if the outside is sharp, right? My, my snakes aren't clinging to the outside, rubbing their noses on the outside. Um, but you can go back and and melt those. I have not done it here. So these I did with a soldering iron. You can see that ring that's around there. That's a really 
hard ring and it's kind of sharp. I tried sanding them down. Um, and it's the same process I use even on, on the larger tubs or in the, the other tubs is just drill from inside out, burn it with a lighter, smooth it out, um, and you're pretty good. Now for water containers in these, I just got these uh, two ounce water dishes. You can see a big box of them down there that I got from Sam's Club. I hot glue one to the bottom and I could, I could pull this thing out if I wanted to. I, I've done it on some of them, pull it out, the glue, the glue chips right off. Um, but basically that gives you a holder so when you drop their water in, they're not gonna knock it over, they're not gonna move it, it stays put. And this is, works really well. Uh, one thing though I'd learned is watch the placement of this because like this where it is, it's really too close. So trying to get in here and clean things out, um, you really need to move it back a little bit. You don't want it on the warm side, you want it over here. Um, the other thing with hot glue, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, you can kind of see the bottom where the glue goes. No matter if you try to do a perfect seal and a perfect seam all the way around, it won't happen. So what happens is you get stuff that comes under here. When you're washing these out, if you soak them, you will get water under there. It can mold, it can turn nasty, their feces can get under there, bugs can crawl under there. So every once in a while I do pull these things out, clean it up, put them back down. Um, and then just toss these cups out. Sometimes they break, like right there. Eh, I'll just take that one out. Um, and then this glue peels off. Fairly easy. Just like that. Done. Um, and then you can hot glue it uh, another one back where you really wanted to. So this seems to work. <coughs> now for the juveniles, what I have uh, is a nice big present from Flash here. These are tight locks on these. I got these from the container store, like I said. Um, he's knocked some substrate in his water. He's he's hiding here in this tube. Hey, Flash. What you doing, buddy? And come out and say hi. No. Okay. But same process on these. Um, he got it all over. Um, drill hole, melt it down with a lighter. Depending on what type of reptile in here you have will depend on how many holes and how much humidity you want to hold. If it's, if there's too much humidity in here, uh, you want to drill some more holes. You can always put tape on the outside of this to cover holes if you drill too many. Uh, it's very flexible. Why am I keeping tops on these? Well, because I made this rack and I made them specifically for the six quart tubs. Um, it's wood wood will warp you already see this one kind of warped up um, so I did not want to rely on especially with baby snakes um, them being able to get out through the top of the next shelf and their container so I just keep lids on them no big deal takes extra time to feed them to do everything we need to do um, but at least they remain safe they don't get out um, and we don't have any issues so that's kind of my overview for uh, the enclosures. Thanks for watching. Till next time.